morning guys finally I'm back I know it has been a while there was Christmas and there was New Year's Eve I really hope that you had an amazing time with your family with your friends that you partied well on New Year's Eve And I wish you all the best for 2019. I hope you will have a great year. Guys, I don't really feel sorry that I wasn't around those past weeks now, but still I want to say sorry to you because I just took the freedom to spend time with my family. You know, I lived in the Philippines for the last three years and so I really tried this time, like being back in Germany, Christmas, New Year, I really tried to be fully committed to my friends and to my family and not um, and not being so busy like editing videos, shooting videos and stuff. So I hope you understand that. Thank you for that. And you are also waiting for the 5,000 subscriber special. And I'm working on it. I shot most of it, so I still have to do some animation and stuff. I hope it will be out soon. So today I kind of stayed true to my first New Year's resolution. I went to the gym already, so daily life has me back. It's, it's great to have something to do, it's great to have a work, it's great to have some resolutions, some plans, some visions for this new year. Well, I hope you have them in general, not just for this new year, because it's just a date. But still, like to start the day with, with going to the gym, to exercise my discipline, that was very good for me. If you want to, you can share your new year's resolutions. Just post them there in the comments. Actually... Actually, I'm not really a fan of those New Year's resolutions because I think if I can't follow through with my goals throughout the year, why should, why should it help just to have a new year? There have been many New Year's already, but still it might help sometimes to have this clear date when you start something or quit something. And so if it helps you to have this clear date and to set some goals now and to try to have a streak, like, like to start January 1 and then you will quit smoking and then you can count those days back and stuff. If it helps you, go ahead, do it. Or, well, I hope you did it already. <sighs> I was working the whole day, now it's it's about 4.30, but it's already turning dark, so I gotta finish this video now. We were talking New Year's resolutions, and that I'm actually not really a fan of those, but I have a few myself. Many, many of those actually, I'm turning like, uh, maybe like this. Many of those are not just New Year's resolutions, they are like resolutions or plans, goals, visions, whatever, in general. <clears throat> But I took the chance because, well, it happened to be New Year's Eve to, to take some time to really write them down and to think about what I really want with my life, what I really want in general. Maybe you can check out the video that I did last year, like a year ago, also about New Year's resolutions. I was not really good in filmmaking though. The thing that's important about goals is you need to, you need to have big goals if you want to achieve something. You need to have, you need to know where you are going otherwise you're not going anywhere. But just knowing where you, where you want to go is not enough. You need to break it down into action steps or habits. Like for example, if you want to, if you, if, if you want to become rich, th that's okay, that's an okay goal, but it won't help you very much. You need to break it down into action steps. What can you do every day to walk towards this goal? And that's what I kind of, kind of did. I have my visions, I, want to, I, I still want to look like Thor, I want to learn more, I want to grow my own business. Actually, I just started my own business, like filmmaking and advertisement business. It's my first try to, to build something on my own. And of course, for this I have visions, I have goals. But I try to break them down into action steps. So my New Year's resolutions are, I want to become healthy, I want to look like Thor. So I committed to go to the gym four to five times per week. I committed to wake up early and then go to the gym. I committed to stop smoking because I kind of started again to smoke, which is not very healthy at all. I committed to work hard. I have a couple of different jobs right now. And so I committed to really work hard, to cancel Netflix, oh. to have more time to, to learn, to grow. I committed to read every day, just a small por portion. Just take some time every day to read because it's very good, very healthy for the brain. 
I also committed to not use cell phone anymore in bed so I want to go to bed without any electronic devices because because it does affect my sleep it's not healthy to take your cell phone with you to bed and it shouldn't be the first thing you're looking at in the morning I also I also committed to checking my to-do lists every day in the morning and to plan out my day as part of my morning routine and also to do the same thing in the evening again to plan out the next day and also to review the day so that I'm aware of my goals and visions that I can think about like how the day went I also committed to do some more meditation and to spend more quality time with God like having devotion time reading the Bible and and, and pray because yeah well last year I didn't do this very regularly actually so you see I have big goals like growing my business and becoming healthy and everything but I try to break them down into action steps things that I can do on a daily basis and if you want to do a similar thing you are feel free to copy me no problem but let me know in the comments below what you committed to do in 2019 and if you broke your New Year's resolution already now, and if you broke it already please don't worry just just do it again so don't be so tied up with the date like New Year's Eve don't be so don't be so disappointed with yourself just start all over again there's no shame in failing there's no shame in in not reaching your goal immediately just learn from it and start all over again I will also continue to talk to you to make videos I also would really love to come back to the Philippines I'm not planning this though specifically because I just don't have the money to fly over there. Let me know in the comments what you want to see, what you want to, to learn, what you want me to talk about on this channel. Guys, it really gets like darker. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was not the most like exciting video or something, but it was the first video this year. Don't forget to enjoy your life wherever you are. If you are in the Philippines or here in Germany or in, in other parts of the world, enjoy your life. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.